Hello everyone, the Nerd Medic here and in this video we will learn about how to take a obstetric and gynecological history from a patient who is within the reproductive age group. So in the previous one video we learned about the art of history taking. By any chance if you haven't watched that video yet, please go in the description box now below and find that video and watch that. After that come back to this video and learn how we take a detailed obstetric and gynecological history from a patient, female patient in the reproductive age group. Many a times you will find that whenever you are talking to a female who is within the reproductive within reproductive age WRA female they will have many of their diseases linked to their obstetric or gynecological history so it's very important to take a proper detailed and well informative obstetric and gynecological history or OBGYN history whenever we take a whenever we take a obstetrics and gynecological history we do that under three headings first we take the menstrual history then we talk about obstetric history that is history related with the childbirth and finally, we talk about the use of contraceptives. So let's learn these things one by one. So before doing any one of these, whenever we're taking a history of a WRA female or within reproductive age group female, we take few things in the patient particulars. So what is a patient particular? To know that, go to the history taking video and learn about that. In that, we add the marital status of the patient. Along with that, we add few details about the husband. For example, we add the name, age, religion occupation of the husband and is there any history of std or reproductive tract illness in the husband right so we take all these details even after that if you want to take something more you can take the history of drug history any sort of medicines or drug if the husband is taking or not all right so this information you have to include in the patient particulars now we come to the menstrual history. So whenever we talk about menstrual history, we take menstrual history under following headings. We start with the last menstrual period, when the last date of the menstrual period. Then we talk about something. So this we basically do by the first date of first day of last bleeding phase is what we note down. Right. After that, what we note down, we note down the age of menarche. right after that we talk about the cycle length of the cycle and regularity of the cycle whether the cycle is a regular one or irregular one and if regular or irregular what is the length of the cycle now we talk about length of the bleeding phase right we talk about length of bleeding phase right now we talk about something known as volume of bleeding. Now this volume of bleeding has to be quantified in terms of pads changed per day or maybe tampons per day like that. Okay. After that, you have to note down whether there was any passage of any clot or not. How was the blood? Well, whether the blood was clotted blood or normal flow. So that is again very important. And finally, you have to note down whether there was any associated symptoms like pain, nausea, vomiting, fever, etc. Right. So to summarize the menstrual history, you take the last menstrual period date, first day of the last bleeding phase. Then you talk about the age of menarche. Then you talk about the cycle length and cycle regularity. Once you know about the cycle, you talk about the length of the bleeding phase. And then you talk about the volume of bleeding in terms of pads per day or tampons used per day. Then you talk about passage of clots and finally you ask about few associated symptoms whether they were present or not so this is in brief our menstrual history obstetric history so what is obstetric history obstetric history is all about childbirth so over here you talk about all the previous pregnancies right you talk about all previous pregnancies all previous pregnancies in terms of their year in which year they happened the type of delivery, what sort of delivery was there that was non vaginal delivery or cesarean section, what was uh, the status of perperium, and you talk about the birth weight of the child, you talk about birth asphyxia, you talk about breastfeeding, etc., breastfeeding duration, etc. So you talk, you take one by one history of all pregnancies under these headings. Basically, that is a year of pregnancy, mode of delivery, perperium, birth weight of the baby, whether there was any birth asphyxia or not, and finally breastfeeding. Right. Now, uh, uh, more about breastfeeding, we will talk in pediatric history. 
Now we come to the number of living childrens. You talk about number of living children. Now number of living children you write in terms of sex, age, and immunization status. You ask the sex of the living children, age of the living children, and what is their immunization status. So basically, these two headings make the obstetric history, all the previous pregnancies and the number of living children. Right now, finally, we come to the contraceptive history. Now, we first talk about any contraceptive used or not. Now, what contraceptive used? Whether this was used by the female partner or used by the male partner, that has to be asked. Now, you have to determine what type of contraceptive it was, what was the duration of use of that contraceptive, and whether there was any complication related to that contraceptive, and whether the contraceptive was advised by doctor or not. advised by doctor or not right so this is in brief gives you a detailed idea about the gynecological and obstetric history of a female who is within the reproductive age group and believe me all this information will give at some definite direction while you will be making certain diagnosis so i hope you have understood this video well if you have understood this video please hit the like button share this video among your friends and peers of medical school or college and by any chance if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon and put the notification to all so that you never ever miss a video from my channel until then bye bye see you in the next one